ahead and did a full blood test. Okay. And then it showed up. And, and this is how long ago? This was in March or April. So, uh, so when was the last one, or was this the first blood no, test? This was the first. One. Okay. So the, no need to panic yet. No. But uh, we put him on. Uh, well, we tested him again. We didn't do anything. We tested him again in six weeks. They were elevated a little higher, so we put him on milk thistle. Say that again. Milk thistle. Okay. What's uh, that? Or what is that supposed to do? For it's you? supposed to be a liver support. Okay. Uh, natural. Okay. We did that, and they were waited six weeks. They were still a little higher. So now he's on Venomarin. A little higher than the okay. first one? Yeah. A little okay. higher than so raising. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out. And then he gets the ear infection. And he's he's going through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but would, I, uh, would you be willing to try something? He doesn't have no symptoms of anything day one. He eats fine, he drinks fine, he plays, his poop and his feet are fine. So, so Dave and I have had lots of discussions about stuff like this. Now let me just say, what if you just did nothing? Well, we did that for six weeks. And? And they went up. They went up. Mm -hmm. But see, this is a years where you never even got a full panel to begin with. Mm -hmm. So what if in those years, what if... Okay, in those years, and I'm not a veterinarian. Mm -hmm. What if in those years it went up and down all his life? Yeah. Okay, hope so. We, yeah, that's what we don't. So know. slow. I'm not a veterinarian, mm -hmm. but I got a lot of common sense. Now I would just say slow down. You might. Okay, we were talking about the human side of it. Mm -hmm. If we did nothing at all, uh, where would we be? Would we have lasted longer? Would we have just had a better life without running to the veterinarian three, four times a month and spending hours doing tests? Would you have been just fine? So there's some things to think about. Mm -hmm. And you could get, it, it, I would think if he was going to be really sick, it would catch up and he would be like, I am ready. he won't get up. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you got to go, well, doing nothing didn't help. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go back in now. And it might be a little worse, but that's the risk. You have to take risk. You either take risk and go to the vet a lot and wear him down. Do you see where? Do you see yeah. the two different things that could happen? Yeah, going to the vet stresses him, and stress can cause it. So, and that's that could do something else. So he goes to the vet a lot. No offense on the veterinarians. I love you guys out there. You're doing your job, but there's some things that um, I would want to talk about. Well, so that's why they did the sonogram was to check the other organs so we could rule that out. Right, but if you you go to the vet, you know it stresses him out. Each car ride does something. Let's just say a bunch of car rides gets him into heart failure. You go groom too many times, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I don't say, hey, well, let's not blow dry, hey, let's just do a half a groom on a very stressful dog, mm -hmm. in the long run, it's like running a mile at 90 years old every day, and that 90 year old's gonna go, I'm at, my heart can't make it, man. Yeah. And unfortunately, dogs don't have the luxury to tell us my heart is not doing good know, dad yeah. you know they're not gonna they're just gonna fail on us so uh i there's a couple things i would probably do beforehand and again i'm not a veterinarian but with our own dogs i've learned over the years don't panic mm -hmm. and let's change a few things before we start making some serious serious changes uh, and go and change a few things before we go spend thousands at the veterinarian let's just do a couple things However, if it was an emergency room issue, then the veterinarian is going to say, hey, you got to get on this med, this is what you got to do. That's different, right? Mm -hmm. So, a couple things I would do. One of the first, I don't know that I would jump so fast because if you've never done blood work, then this could be just the way it looks. And now you feel like you're in a panic a little bit and you're doing what everyone's telling you to do, which is, hey, I need to see you back here in two weeks for another blood test. Let's watch his blood every two weeks now. No. How much is that running you too? You know, oh, and you're not. You didn't see anything. There was no symptoms. So what made you go in then for that? What ended up? You well, just that's, that's what the vet suggested. But the vet suggested it because uh, you went in for just a panel finally. Yeah. Well, after the third go around, 
mean, it jumps from don't panic to, well, we need to either do a, a sonogram or a biopsy. And I'm like, well, we're not doing the biopsy. That's for sure. How old is he? Four. Wow. Well, that, that really jumps ahead, and that really confused me. He's pretty young, me. man. That confused me a lot. Yeah. Hmm. It does make me think, man. It does make me think. Have they talked about changing diet yet? Or have they already introduced that? No. Hmm. And he's eating where he got him from a breeder who, who is a vet. Is a veterinarian, mm -hmm. really. And so we kept him on the food that he started okay. him on. And he has no problem with his food. I mean, he eats it. And he's also on an ID for... Intestinal? Mm-hmm. ID from mm -hmm. Science Diet? Right. Okay. So and how long has he been on ID? Oh, well, he just gets a spoonful with, with his meal. So did he have already intestinal issues before when he was younger? Yeah. That the reason why, what was the, those issues? Oh, he was either throwing up or having diarrhea. Until the dog food, until you got on ID? Did it stop that or did you have to do antibiotics and any surgery? We used, you know, we use it in endurance and the ID. So anytime they get diarrhea, that's what we do. ID? And endurance. Endurance. Is that a, what is that? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's like a fluid. It's an or intestinal. Is it like a pill or is it like no, a fluid? No, you know what I'm saying? It's a tube. You just, they get squirted. Okay. Same and that's prescription? It. Yeah. Okay. So we just keep an extra tube around so when they get it, we don't have to run it. Right, right. You right. have it on hand. And you say they, both of them. Yeah, oh. she, he came home from the vet with diarrhea. A week or a few days later, she had it. Recently? But that, uh, over the years, were they on ID for that diarrhea before? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's been a chronic? Oh, or no. It's just, part of their life? We just, we just give it the ID to them as part of their food. Okay, but the other, the, the squirt thing, you do that, when, when did that start? Just when they get the diarrhea. But when did that first come about? Because he's only four, so he came to you from a veterinarian and he had diarrhea at what, at what point? Oh, I don't know. Two years old or probably, one, one, like, probably two. Probably two years old. So for two years he's been on this yeah. diarrhea stuff. Well, no, it's the digestion. It's for their digestion. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So if you have diarrhea and you give them that stuff, not the ID, but the... Yeah, endurance. How fast does it work? Like, he had diarrhea right now. You got home and there's, let's just say, diarrhea all over the living room. It would probably take... Uh, 24 hours or yeah. that night he feels yeah. better already? A couple of doses. A couple of days. Mm. We make sure we look, give it to him until he has a solid stool. Really? And she has the same thing? Not all the time, no. No, but sometimes? Just when they're, yeah. When it's like a... When they've eaten? Yeah. So they, uh, it's something not chronic, no. Not chronic, no. Just when they pick up a bug. When they pick up a bug, okay.
So the food wasn't helping the diarrhea issues, it was just going to help the it was inter inter it. their intestines, yeah, the digestive tract, right? Digestive tract. So we just continued this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, then you yeah. wouldn't know what is you what. Don't you don't know what's yeah. going on. You, can't yeah. you wouldn't want to keep changing stuff. That's the problem with this. Now with the ear infection. So we're going to wait longer before we check it again. You're so Mom, pretty. Yeah. I, I like these eye, eyebrows. You like that? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not done with the eyebrows. Oh, but yeah. I mean, just this cleaning. Yes. He's just so sweet. See, you guys, she wants it very short in the front. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I we like it short. Pretty oh. eyes. Yeah, you're doing so well. Can I have a dare? You go stand up for me. Thanks. You kind of even all this out. Well, they did it all for me right there. <laughs> yeah. Down to the skin. Yeah, it's got me thinking. So I'll talk to you guys off camera about a couple things that are very simple. But you wouldn't want to, like you said, it's... Yeah, I'll tell you off camera now. It's just... I don't know. It's just too much going on now. Mm -hmm. For a young, for a young girl. However, I'll just tell you a story since you're standing there. Uh, Sui, who's already passed away, Shih Tzu, uh, got him in Germany. Him and his brother, same litter. Duke didn't have a problem. Sui did. Uh, by the time he hit four, uh, it was right after I had transferred from Germany to, and dropped the pets off to my parents in South Dakota. It was right before I had gone off to Guam, so I wasn't even around. But, uh, it was like kind of right when I was around and then I was about to leave again, right? Wow. And I had my pet, pet, my parents' pet sit them for two years, a year and a half, because uh, to bring their dogs over, they have to go through a six-month quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. And I knew they wouldn't make it. It was in a four-by-four four outdoor kennel in humid, hot, and you're not around. But yeah. you were required to still visit your dog and feed them. So I was like, so it's no, anyways, I was like, I'm not doing that to my dogs, right? right. I don't think that they would survive because they were young, three, four years old. And... Well, no, not without. And then you can get disease, and then it's, it's not. It was not not a very fair program. Not worth it. Yeah. Um, so I didn't quarantine them and do all that. I had them stay with mom and dad, and th I'm grateful for that. But Suey ended up vomiting a lot, man. He could not hold his food down. It what? It, so then you kind of go, okay, well, let's give you some yogurt and kind of help your tummy, mm -hmm. right? It got to a point he was vomiting and diarrhea, blood. There was blood in there. So yeah. immediately I took him in. It turned out that he had inflammatory bowel disease, which when the, and this veterinarian was a, um, she graduated one to two years before me in high school. So someone I even knew, not best friends with, but I trusted her, you know, she's a good character. So I knew she wasn't doing it for promotions or, right? Yeah. Uh, incentives, um, th stuff like that. So she let me know, hey, Dee Dee, you know, he has inflammatory bowel disease and you're lucky that you brought him in when you did because it had gotten to the point where his intestines were, if she had just done it like this, they would have shriveled up. They would have just, they would have just got just gone. I don't know how we even saved him at that point. Um, Cause we did a uh, open up and just look around. It wasn't like she opened up to fix anything. She needed to see what was going on in there. Yeah. And I was grateful that we did that. He's on meds for a year. ID and ZD mix half and half for the rest of his life. And eventually, Duke would always eat his food. So I just did IDZD on him and Duke. Right. <laughs> and, and they survived just fine, right? They ended up having heart disease later on. But I don't know. I'm going to just put this on. Okay.
So the IDZD, I totally get, get it more than you know. I have my doctor on that for 15 years. Um, it's only prescribed. Every vet I had moved to a different state, I had to get a whole new prescription for it. Oh, yeah. So I mean, it was a, I, I went through the IDZ thing. So I, a ZD thing, I, I get it. But then there's other things that I wonder about because they're so young, you know. Um, you get that first blood work, what was going on beforehand? You know we don't know, yeah. And at four years old, honestly, you rarely do get that full panel. When I when they hit five years old, I tell pet parents, hey, five to eight, you want to go and start getting a panel so you know where they're at. So you know if uh, anything spikes after they turn 10, you know, you, you kind of get a baseline when you do that first one. But right. at four years old, you're really never in there getting that. But if um, these two are not the same litter, right, they shouldn't have the same problems. No. We're so you, that's why I'm asking all these questions. If, if one's diarrhea, they're both doing it. That, then there's something that both of them are doing that is causing the problem because they're not the same litter, right? Right. Well, they don't always both have it at the same time. This is, she just happened to get it, and then I found out that they had been spraying our common area, and we let them walk over there. So we. So did. right. So now yes. you're kind of where they got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they were spraying for some kind of bugs and. I don't know. But when I heard that, I went, okay. Hmm. We didn't get it at the vet. I got it over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Well, that was explainable. Yeah. Any uh, dog park activities, stuff no, like that? No, we don't do that. When you say common area, is it an apartment or a no, community? A, yeah. Okay. Community, housing, community. Do they have a dog area over there like that? No. It's really sad that you have to sometimes think about where do I walk my dog to pick up something, right? And can I do your nails without you getting mad? Let me see. See some improvement here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as, uh, as a mobile groomer even, if you're out there doing na uh, nails or grooming and you have fleas, that dog is lives in that community. Mm -hmm. If that dog has infested with fleas, his neighbor might have fleas. Do you see? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. Don't look at me like that. You now we were going to ask you too about the mobile side. The mobile. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, no. Nope. Mom, you can come and step in here. Hold your head there. No. 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 Don't grab me. Don't grab me. It's okay. Look at. Last time, a few times ago, you were like really mad. You not remember that? Hmm? Yeah, just when I think it's gonna <laughs> hurt. Just when I think it's gonna hurt. You're all right. I'm gonna try to scissor them without muzzling you. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how you do, man. Mm -hmm. Sit down, relax. You can sit down and relax. You don't want to sit down? Okay, here, I'm gonna come into your ears here. Don't look at me like that. We're not. We don't even have that same tool anymore. Hold on. You're okay. Don't get mad. We're past that. We are past that. I don't like the ears short. Yeah, because you've got such big ears anyway. Mm -hmm. When they get fuzzy, they just, just look gigantic. Did you know that? <laughs> this is the one that's infected, right? Yeah. Yeah. Medicine, yeah, I can tell. This stuff is so waxy. Mm -hmm. No, don't look at me like that. No, you're okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
swollen now. No, it looks great. It's mm -hmm. um, really coming along. Then we get medicine twice a day. Mm -hmm. It'll go 14 days? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did they give you like a cleaner as well? Uh, yeah. Like we a flushing a, something? We, something? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. When do you do that then? Twice a week. Okay. So you, do you flush and then put wax stuff in there or how does it work? Uh, no, you clean it. She showed me how okay. you put it on a cotton ball okay. or a, p a pad, okay. and then you wipe it all out, and then you douse it, and you put it in there, and you squirt it around. I mean, squeeze it, squeeze his mm -hmm. ear, and uh, then we wait a couple hours to let it dry before I could. Oh, okay, before you put the wax stuff yeah. back in there. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not like back to back. No. Okay. No. It's some medication. Yeah. Yeah, and so. And your hands are going away. You need your hands are going away. Your eyebrows are perfect. Aren't they? I don't even want to touch them. Man. I know, but I like to see his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I'm there with you, but dang, sometimes they don't come out like perfect like that. This oh, is just grow are. out. They're so pretty. Yeah. It'd be okay if I was a show dog, but I'm mama show. They're supposed to be longer. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. You can't see their eyes at all. I know. I don't like that. I want to see his eyes. Otherwise, I don't know what he's up to. Really? <laughs> Can you look at him and say, what are you doing? Uh -huh. Can you? Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> She's like, yes, Dee Dee. Very good, yeah, do you? Yeah, right. You know your pets, man. I tell you, if they don't feel good, you know. Yeah. Well, I could tell he wasn't feeling real good. What was he doing? Just mopey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'd just kind of lay there and look at me. And I was like, oh, really? Okay. And then he started with the ear thing and shaking his head. So mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that was it. a good boy let me do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think his pills just about kicked in. Really? You mm -hmm. think so? Can you tell? His, yeah, Nutricon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Nutricon, Betty? No. You give him a Nutricon for grooming or for? Yeah, for grooming. Kind of take the edge off. Does it seem to take the edge off? Yeah, and then when they get home, they'll just sleep. And is that over the counter or from the vet? It's uh, always something we've always given them, but yeah. It's for so grooming? Uh, Only for grooming? No, though? no, for... Any kind of going in the car and uh -huh, stuff, right? Uh -huh. I think we talked about that, but yeah. I didn't know that what you were giving or if it worked. Yeah. That looks pretty. Is that all good there? Yeah. I think I like that a lot. If you want it shorter. You're a pretty boy. You're a pretty boy. No, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect for Mama. Uh -huh. Okay, can I have you stand up? Yeah, stand up, Mama. That's the edge of the table, buddy. I'm so sorry you're going through all that stuff. Your ear's looking better though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he says I'm, I'm on the mend.
know what's by your nail. He's holding his breath. Holding your breath, man. Okay, don't get mad. I'm going to touch your tail. Just make sure I did that back there. Yep. Okay, very sure. Make sure we got this. Stand up. Stay there. More off that? No. You are worried, man. I can feel it in your tail. All right, we looking good, Mom? We looking good. No anal glands or anything, right? No, he had that done at the bed. Great. So. All right, get your picture. Right here. Henry. Sorry, you guys. Hey. Oh. Yeah, man. Good boy. I'll send those to you. All right. Thanks, thanks so much, man. We'll put your harness on while you're up here. Might as well. Mm. Smells good, huh? Ooh, you smell it? Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's like rainforest cologne. It's so tasty. Mm. Ready? Can you step in there? Mm. Good? Mm hmm. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, you want to come down? Here we go.